Welcome back everyone. This is your boy AD again. Today we're gonna continue on another episode of Hitman on the mission Gilded Cage. Last time we barely got the soldier's disguise and we overheard an opportunities from two reporters. Apparently the two reporters hired a freelance camera guy and the disguise could help us get into the consulate to take down Klaus Strandberg, our first target of the day. So right now, I just knocked out a lady that went into the bathroom frequently to get her invitation because we need that invitation to get inside through that doorway and that's where the cameraman is he's probably smoking pot in there getting high so now we got the invitation the only problem is we need a poison to poison his pipe as you can see here we could poison all the pipes and I don't know what the hell is that is that a glitch a bug or the new update or something wrong with my save but looks like one of the tubes is flying around everywhere but it shouldn't be a problem, only one. Alright, let's get that poison first. The rat poison that will make him sick. And I know where that is. I did some free roaming and I found it in the original place where I got the guard's disguise. In that isolated alley in the previous video. So just bear with me on this one. Alright, apparently this is the place, the isolated alley. And the poison should be on this table. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Grab that. 99. Hi, recruit. Hey, I'm a handsome recruit. Want to go out with me? I need to see an invite. Here you go. Move along. I'll let you off this time. What do you mean you let me off? I have the invite. Fair and square. Alright, as you can see, there's a guard missing from there. I knocked him out on the previous video. I had to cut that part out because I kept messing up. So that's why we started back there. Apparently that guard walks into the bathroom and he's all by himself I got him out of the way so he wouldn't bother me taking out the reporter because after I put that poison in the reporter will go into that bathroom all right oh that's okay keep going bro keep going Blow your little pipe. Blow that. Alright. We just gotta wait until he retreats to that sink to wash his hands. He won't really go into the bathroom by himself. As I notice his pattern. He goes wash his hands and come back here. And that guard shouldn't be a problem as long as we avoid him. He just sits his big butt on that chair. There you go. You got your pleasure. Alright, now we gotta be careful when we put the poison because the waiter might see us. I think right now is the best chance to do it. It's now or never. Alright, there you go, there you go. That was a close call, that was a close call. Shit, that was scary. Let's stay away from him. Alright, the poison was a success. 
We're okay here. I'm trying to go into the bathroom, bro. Alright, that's way here for that reporter. He's gonna throw up in the toilet. Look at 47. So handsome in that disguise. And so unique. The bathroom has no roof. First time. I wonder what happens when it rains. I want to see how that reporter gets sick. Let's check it out. Kind of risky to walk past that guard. Oh shit, he's feeling sick. Definitely, we don't want to drown him. That's just kind of risky. That might kill him. Let's put him in the treasure chest with this other guy. Hopefully, they'll make out when they get lonely. And then I just got him naked. <laughs> Alright. So, we're pretty much done here. Let's pick up this membership card. But then we gotta drop the guns, the big one. Alright, we could come back and get that later. The good thing about guns is that they're a good distraction for guards to pick up and isolate and knock them out. Alright, let's meet up with the two reporter. As you can see in this game, we can po pretty much poison any pipes here. But that will be pretty pointless to waste that poison. We only could use it once. I know there's another one somewhere in the console deck. I'll show you guys that when we reach there in a bit. But first, let's complete this opportunity and see their interaction between Stramberg. Look, your guys Maybe he just took the money and made a dash for it, huh? Ah, uh, he'll be here. I just got stuck in traffic or something. Or the protesters found out where he was going and beat him to death. That's it. Just worry about what to ask Strongberg, okay, Pam? <laughs> Smug bastard. The whole city wants to string him up and he's in there doing the thing. Guess you played a hand in dealt. Hey, I'm not late. I'm here. I'm the serious. Cameraman, the creepy guy. Uh, finally, where have you been? Sorry, I'm there. streets aren't safe. Yeah. All right, we pretty much read the opportunity on the previous one already, between Pam and this other guy's dialogue. I don't know what's the other guy's name. Forgot. I played through this once before without recording and they don't really check us at the checkpoint. Pam Kingsley, GNN News. We are here to see Klaus Hewitt. You just have to have the right disguise though. Billion, my friends. That is how much this psycho fan from affluent Scandinavia has pilfered to the citizens of Morocco. And what is our government doing? Well, I don't blame these protesters. Strandberg steal money from them. I don't really blame them for protesting. And the security sucks here right now. Probably really chaotic at this moment. Okay, remember, Pam. Technically, Stromberg has not been convicted of any crime. So, we're not allowed to ask directly about the location of the second building. Stick to the facts. The accusations, the trial, uh, Stromberg's dramatic breakout. You know, get his side of the story. I got this. Oh, Tyler. What's up, Tyler? Right, right. And you, aim and shoot. This is it, guys. They won. The cool thing about reporters is you get to go a lot of places around the world. That's the cool part. You made it. Most I made it. My if I hold your hand, now girl? Now to locate Klaus Stramberg. Oh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. Now we gotta hear a conversation 
I must say I was or surprised interview. that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest, yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. Okay, okay. Let's keep moving. We're gonna have an interview with the famous hey Strandberg. Alright, I guess ladies first. Hi, Finley. Aha, capital, you made it. Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. All right, Klaus. We get to hear a full interview. This is so cool. Gee, thanks. All right. Apparently we have to drop that on him somehow. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. All right. I'm gonna roll. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Okay, Upstairs we're ready somewhere. if you are, Mr. Access Stanford? to the consulate and first row seats for the Let interview. Me start by Nicely done, 47. How do you feel right now? <laughs> like my feet hasn't touched the ground, Miss Kingsley. These last few weeks, uh, Everything that's happened to me, it's, it's just utterly unreal. Mr. Stramberg, for the last seven years, you have been the CEO of AMB, the biggest private bank in Morocco. Three weeks ago, the police showed up on your doorstep and you were arrested for billions of dollars in misappropriation. Such were the charges, yes. Do you have any explanation to these accusations? Well, I can only uh, conclude that the Moroccan authorities must have misunderstood their own legislation. Misunderstood? How do you mean? N none of those transactions were illegal. Everything was done in strict accordance with Moroccan law. Now, you might call it a loophole. You might call it creative bookkeeping. But the law is the law, Miss Kingsley, and I am a firm believer in the law. Uh, let me get this straight, Mr. Stramberg. You are openly admitting to taking this money, the seven billion dollars from the Moroccan people? Why not? An opportunity presented itself, and I seized it. Again, all within the confines of the law. So, uh, what should I apologize for? Hmm? Being a capitalist? What an asshole! Perhaps the term has fallen out of favor with your middle-class viewers, Miss Kingsley, but... Me? I bear that brand proudly. Capital C. Mm. If you are innocent, in the eyes of the law, why did violent assailants spring you from police custody this morning, claiming the lives of six police officers? Ooh, that I'm afraid uh, I cannot answer. Some philanthropist, uh, sympathetic to my ordeal, no doubt. Sorry about that guys, I got caught trying to drop a gun because I was going upstairs to drop that moose on him. I wanted to show you guys that opportunity because if I don't drop the gun, the security will frisk me and find out that I'm up to no good. But unfortunately, I got caught dropping the gun and it was pretty suspicious. So we're going to start again. We're going to finish up Strandberg's speech and see what he says. It's pretty interesting what people around you say in this hitman world. Let us proceed. 
I appreciate the gesture, but the approach was somewhat excessive and really quite unnecessary. I would have walked free eventually, once justice had run its due course. Mr. Stramberg, hundreds are gathered outside this very building, howling for your blood. Is there anything you wish to say to them? Um, two little words. Fuck you. Pam, we need to call it a wrap. I think the damn hard drive overheated. Okay, fine. We got everything we needed. How did I do, Miss Kingsley? Oh, you made quite the impression. Okay. I wow, think what done. a jerk. Your last Good two work. words. It was nothing. You must be a photographer. Exciting. Ooh, now we could go on a date. Let's hold hands. You must be in a hurry. Alright guys, maybe I should load it again so I could drop the moose on him. So let's try that. Like my feet hasn't touched the ground, Miss Kingsley. These last few weeks... Everything. Very charming. I need to check you out before I can let you through, buddy. I can feel you're all man, if you don't mind me saying so. And you're good to go, sir. Thanks. Okay, okay. Bombs away. Bastard. You might call it. <laughs> you got your just dessert. Down. Next up, Reza Zaydan. The problem with this opportunity is that the police and the civilians will find the body. That's why I hate about this one. I don't know if I'll get a penalty for this. Let me tell you a little story. Hey camera guy. Back when he first started out, huh? Strandberg worked for this Beijing hedge fund. Alright, apparently in the new update. Hey. He married a local man. The police or the authorities will find out that we kill him or accuse us if we stick around too long. So, gotta stay back. See that guy? Gotta get the fuck out of here. There must be a box or something we can hide in. Hopefully they're not looking for us. I wanna see the reaction. Between the two reporters. I'm really curious. Alright. Let's wait until the reporter comes out. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. So we can't really stick around there. Before the update, I could hear their conversation. The reporters were like overreacting and stuff. It was kind of funny to hear what they say. But now we can't do that because they'll accuse us. I do this a lot, actually. You must be a photographer. Exciting. Jesus, did hey. you see that? Yes, Tyler, I did Wait, see that. What? I, I, I can't. I mean, one moment he... Christ, what the hell was that shit, Pam? I'll tell you exactly what that was, Tyler. Hey there, Mr. A cameraman. Accident just occurred. Please stay calm as we investigate and do not discuss the incident with the outside world. Do not discuss Neil, the incident. You are not going to believe your cooperation. And no, your of course, I know it's five in the morning. Neil, listen. The Strandberg interview. This thing just went straight to hell. No, no, in a good way. Check this out. First, the smug bastard. He just admitted to everything, Neil. On camera. 
No, I'm not kidding. Cheerfully and unapologetically. He basically did an I am a crook speech, and we've got the exclusive. And then, oh yeah, yes, there's more. Then, the guy croaks it, again, on camera. Yes! I, I don't know, well, what am I, a coroner? All I know is, this is the best piece of footage since the Hindenburg. So, how much do you love me, Neil, hmm? Hey, come on, please, don't be embarrassed. I want details. <laughs> oh, and Neil, I didn't know you had it in you. <sighs> well, uh, we're being evacuated right now, but Tyler will upload as soon as we get the equipment back. Great, great. Oh, and Neil, when they move you upstairs, I'm getting your office. Ooh, you're getting a promotion, all thanks to me. Let's hold hands. Alright, I guess this is the end of it. They just wait here in the lobby for the rest of the game. Ooh, a soda can. We could throw as distraction. Anyway, I'm the evil cameraman. Standing right next to you, I'm the killer. Alright guys, that's it for this opportunity. We'll try out the next one. The next one is a little better because no one will discover the body. And I'll be using that one. Take care guys. Peace.